And therefore, I'm happy to say to the members, it is true, we have started crashing today, the first as per the notice, and you also see a good number of our field officers coming in to look at the canes, and for quality sugar and also benefits to the farmers, we want to encourage our farmers to only allow harvesting of mature cane 16 months so that they are able to get the correct weight, the correct recovery, and even value for the patients they have had for the last 16 months. Facility is able to crush 8,400 tons of cane per day. But now, for us to build sugar cane within the region, we have started with a capacity of 2,500. That is what has been guaranteed to us by AFA to start with the 2,500 this month and next month and come to the, towards the end of January, AFA will also take an inventory of the amount of cane in the region and they will advise whether I continue with the same capacity or increase the capacity. Mumia's nucleus is slightly above, just slightly above 3,400 hectares. That's just slightly above 8,500 acres. I've done about 1,400. I wanted to do uh, 18 to 2,000 this year, so that by next year I'm able to cover all. But what I can say is currently we have sufficient seed cane from the 1,400 hectares to be able to plant the remaining part of the nucleus. As we have resumed, they have clustered us into regions. I'm in the lower Kakamega region. And the lower Kakamega region, it is us, uh, Orepito, and Kibo Sugar. And therefore, the other players have also been given their regions. And therefore, we so believe now we can more give support to our farmers because we are sure that that cane is coming within our region. There is no intertransfer of cane within the region. I had recalled a total of 787 employees, where I'm happy to report that out of the 787, 95% of these employees are former employees of Mumia Sugar. So that has been a priority. That has been a request. And that's also the direction given to me by my chairman to ensure that we continue to give employment to the former employees. So we are doing interviews and employing them on need basis. You know that you get to come to Monday, we'll start getting more staff coming in in the sugar packaging area. We are also increasing our fry freight in terms of the tractors. And therefore, we are happy. The flow of cane is good. And currently, we are having a good amount of mature cane. You know, when the market was open for everyone, there was continuous slashing of cane, especially within this region. With our assumption, Cane prices have again been reviewed. We have been able to review our cane prices from 5,500 to now 6,050 per ton. And I continue to assure the general public and farmers that on the same mode of payment that we are doing, we are going to retain the payment period to be the same a farmer will have to be paid cane delivered after seven days. Within a week, they'll get their money. We have continued to aggressively address the issue of uh, rehabilitation of our nuclear estate. We have so far slight, done slightly above 1,400 hectares. I'm happy to say that we are going to be more aggressive and I look forward to ensuring that in the next one year to come,
the entire nucleus for Mumias will fully be flooded with Ken. Come towards the mid of next year, I so believe I will also have sufficient seed cane to support even our neighboring farmers in cane development. Cane development is key for us, for this company to be sustained. We need to get back farmers on board, farmers who had already given up, who had been frustrated. We want to tell them it is time they go back to their farms, they will earn better, they will be paid promptly, and they will get sufficient support that they may so require.